I don't want to feed you any lines. What you see is my truth. No shades of gray to color things this way or that. Black and white, that's it. Afterwards, draw your own conclusions. Here, now, I want to draw the connections between us. They are here. Between you, me, and them. Weaving us all together. Even if they don't know that. They, them, the ones that tell us this side of the line is ours and you can't step over it. Battle lines are drawn on maps and the fences, they look like lines across the desert brush and the arroyos. Where they're drawn over the surfaces of water, dissolved by dappled light and shadow, redrawn in reflections that unravel like a sweater caught on barbed wire in the chill of a desert night, or like the hopes and dreams unraveled, unraveled my family ties, a line caught and tugged in the line of duty because someone had to draw the line. Someone along the line took a hard line. The three men who took my father in the middle of the night, they did not think to look beyond their party line. They had orders. There was a signature on the dotted line. And it was the end of the road. They didn't see the connections between May, Mami, Cachita, Abuelo, Abuela, Minita, Uncle Rudy, Papi, or me. They didn't see how tugging that thread and cutting that tie would unravel everything. Mommy lost her faith that night. She lost the love of her life and whatever hope had kept her from going savage, from stepping out of line. That was cut too. That line between normal and insanity became entangled with each excess. Bruises lined up on the skin of my youth. I look at the smiles of people when they talk about their loves. I read between the lines, those bright waves of love and faith that fashions their smiles. I never saw the lines of her lips rise in joy like that after that night. My brother and I looked just like my father, I heard her confess. She was on the phone, talking to a hotline, trying to keep herself from abusing me again. The older one looks more like their father, she said, but he's hard like me. She's soft like he was. She would reach out for that lifeline to keep from drowning us in the canal off of Tamiami Trail. The line she would feed us when her line of least resistance was death for us all. She was so brutal, so vulnerable, so desperate without faith, without hope, without my father. She looked like Maria Callas, flashing dark eyes at us while she blared opera to silence the tug 
that was unraveling everything she had hoped for. To the men who took my father away because he did not toe the line, who unraveled the ties of love that had interwoven my mother's hopes with the tapestry of family life. To the men who put up fences, who tear families apart and unwind all the fabric that weaves those families together, I have nothing but condemnation. To everyone else, I offer Sage's Prayer of Peace. Let these lines be the connections between us, between you, me, and even them. It has been my truth drawn in black and white. Now you can draw your own conclusions. <laughs>